as well as the previous exercise, this next one is a small drill itself. It's gonna teach our front leg in the split how to engage the quad and what exactly does the locked knee position mean? Because you're gonna hear me saying, you already have, hear me saying, lock the knee, yeah? Not just extend or straight, but when you lock the knee, it actually does the end range of motion, right? It's locked, it's not moving anywhere, there is no going back and forth here, okay? Once it's locked, it's locked. When I teach my little gymnasts, I tell them, okay, girls, now find those little holes under your knees, yeah? You did, okay, very well. Now, imagine you wanna push those holes down, down into the floor to close that gap, right? So there is no more gap. Mm -hmm. Okay, play a few times with this move. See, there is no more gap, hopefully. For some of you, see, I have a slightest uh, hyperextension in my knee. Some people, when they extend the knee, their heel goes up high of the floor very much. Some people have big calves or their knee is, you know, just has normal extension, so they won't be able to lift the heels uh, up from the floor, but that's not what you need to be looking for. What you need to be looking for is the quad engagement and closing those gaps under the knee. And even still, not everyone is gonna be able to do this because of the anatomy, and that's okay. What we're looking for is the quad engagement, okay? So let's go ahead and do this exercise all together. We need to have our back straight, okay? So let's all find those little holes and the gaps under the knees and press them down. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. For those of you who are not able to lift those heels off the floor, let's not get discouraged. And the way we can fix this easily, we can just bring something like a leg warmer under our knees, okay? So we have this little elevation and when we press against it, we're gonna have our heels lifting up, yeah? The leg is gonna be going up a little bit more. Now, for the second round, we're going to hold the position, yeah? Now we've learned how to activate those muscles. And now we're just gonna hold to build that um, endurance in your quad muscles, all right? So let's go ahead and press those gaps down to the floor. Leave the heels, engage the quads, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one. Also see how I'm pointing my toes and you should be pointing your toes as well. We'll do it three more times. Ready? Press the knees down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some of you may be feeling your legs are shaking and that's okay. It's just because we're not very used to this move in daily life, right? And it's okay. Let's do four, go for two more times. Ready? And push down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last one. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Very well done. Shake it off. <laughs>